Chibble. That's good. It's a pretty good day. Uh, good morning. Yes. Uh, okay. This was the question that I, I have. Been... So, Rob, hope you're well. It will be great to hear your view on retail clawbacks without insider's info by Celsius. If you don't know, there's this thing called clawbacks, which is the dumbest thing of all time. Well, it's not dumb. It's, it's a legal precedent. And what it says is that if you removed your crypto, crypto, I, I think the money too, if you remove that uh, at any time within 90 days of when uh, Celsius and Voyager and FTX apparently shut down, that you are subject to clawbacks. What do I think about that? Well, obviously, I think that's a, that's a pretty awful uh, way to uh, deal with investors. But uh, unfortunately, it is the legal precedent. And it really comes down to the judge and as, as they determine who is the person or who is the rightful owner. In Celsius, they very well could do that. Now, are they going to do that? That's the question. And I'm actually going to have, uh, I was reached out by Plan C, who uh, asked me to have one of the uh, representations of the, the lawyers on. So I'm going to have uh, this lady on, and she's going to talk to us about clawbacks and what it means for us. I'll keep everybody uh, in the loop and go from there. Let's see. Ah, that's the wrong one. Okay. I'll turn it off. I just get a little goofy. Okay. Hello, George. Good day. Buenos dias. Morning, Rob. Thanks, Andara. Dara looks great. Uh, some people say it's going to be the next big thing, and uh, it might be. I just don't have any exposure to it. So that's all I can tell you. And you know, on this channel... I am super biased. I only talk about the things that I own. So if I start buying Hedera, you'll know it because I'll start talking about it. Eh, that's about it. Let's see. Not quite savage. Says the Coinbase fears of robbery. Well, there's two things really about that. Um, first of all, the fees are a little bit higher, but guess what? They haven't collapsed. So everybody was talking about how great the F FTX fees were. And do you know what their fees really were? 100% if you think about it. Sorry. So if they're going to charge me a little bit more and they stay up, great. Uh, it really doesn't matter to me. I transfer all my crypto off exchanges onto my Nano Ledger X or yeah, X. So I don't really care so much. But if you're worried about fees, there's two options. First of all, you can use, it used to be called Coinbase Pro. And now I think it's something else, Coinbase Advanced. And if you want to use that, the fees are, are less from what I understand. I don't use it personally because I just dollar cost average and I don't really... I'm kind of lazy, so I just let it go. Another thing is, is a Coinbase One. You, you pay like 20 bucks and there's no fees up to $10,000 per month. That's what I use every single month. And that's it. So yeah, top of the morning. So that's a good question. Road trip buddies. So there's, get, to answer your question, the question is, Rob, did you move to Puerto Rico to save on heavy taxes? It's one of the reasons, yeah. Second reason is I hate cold. And the third reason is, uh, well, me and my wife wanted to get out and all our kids are gone. So what's the point? So we spend six months here. We can either spend six months here or like Florida or like Arizona. But we're like, well, we like it here. And there's a nice tax benefit. Uh, so we chose this place and it's working out pretty well so far. So there's a couple of different reasons. So before anybody moves here, just remember, if you got like kids and you're like, well, I got to move with the kids and then, you know, uh, I, depends on your revenue and your income. There's a lot of factors to think about it. Don't just move here and go, okay, great, no taxes. Trust me. I've done a couple of videos on Puerto Rico so far. Watch those videos first. And uh, I, I urge you, please do that before you make a potential huge mistake and move here. For some, for some, it's for you, and for some, it's not. Right on. Let's see. If staking took off, Coinbase could have eased fees and taken liquidity from Binance. Plot twist. CZ made a few calls to a certain party. And whispers in ears to stop staking. You know, there's a lot of things that are going on. I just, I find it interesting that Gary Gensler is always talking about, we, you know, we believe that uh, all these exchanges here in the United States are selling unregistered securities and we believe it. And then they just, every so often, they really make a big move. And it's like to scare people, to, to scare people back into submission and going, see, we told you we're, we're, we can do these things. And they do it. That's why I'm like, just, let's go to court right now. Let's go to court. Let's just get it all in the open, and then we'll see. And guess what? If the SEC does win, okay, well, then you know what that means? Yes, all the exchanges become selling securities. Robinhood does it every day. In equities, 
stocks. So all you got to do is register. And then the different projects that'll say, okay, well, I, I guess now we're considered a security here. We'll pay some fines and we'll move forward, whatever. So let's just get it out of the way and get it done. So the institutions are like, oh, okay, now I can invest into this stuff and I know where we're at. And I'm not going to get a fine for offering unregistered securities to my customers, which would lead me to my next point. I was talking to not meme, not meme shout out today at the, uh, at, at, at the event for the shelter dogs. And she said, what I don't understand is that Fidelity in my account is offering me crypto products that I can buy right now in my retirement account, or I think it's in her investment account. And I can buy those right now, but they don't seem to be bothered that it could potentially be an unregistered security. And it's, it's things outside of not just Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some other cryptos. So I'm like, that is interesting. It's a ballsy move. And uh, I just wonder how that's going to play into effect later on. So just think about that. It's, 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 it. Let's punch up like, like some damn, yeah, that's right. Punch up. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. George says, why is the SEC pursuing legal action against Coinbase? They got a real big thing for Coinbase for whatever reason. And uh, I'm not for sure why either. So who knows? Uh, they share network fees, each other rewards its users. I got to tell you, before, and my concern was this, and I talked about this before. It seemed like before, like in different exchanges, like they would say, okay, we're going to stake your crypto, but we're also going to rehypothecate it. And we're going to give you X amount of, of yield. And it seemed like you didn't really know where the yield was coming from. It was like, were you really staking? Because you said you were, but there's nothing, there's no proof of documentation. And are you rehypothecating? Are you commingling? Nobody really knew. And now here we are. So I just think like, okay, fine. Let's just put on the open, get some disclosures like Jesse Powell was talking about, which he's, he's, he did make sense in that statement. So I don't know what's, what's happening there, but I will ask you a basic question for everybody. Why the hell is anybody keeping their stuff on the exchanges? Like even Gary Gensler came out and said, even Gary Gensler came out and said, not your keys, not your crypto on MSNBC. I mean, if you can't get any more clear than that, I don't know what to tell you, man. So if you got it on exchanges and you think everything's going to be great, more power to you. <clears throat> I got three reasons to take it off exchanges, Celsius, Voyager, and FTX, but that's just me talking from experience. SEC is pure corruption. I am not your dad. That's very true. Uh... Oh, ho, ho. Cocaine says Celsius has confirmed they will claw back retail who withdrew their coins in the 90 days of BK. What's your view? If that happens, who would buy, sell crypto on U.S. Central Exchange? If you can be... Exactly. Exactly. So it's like, this is, man, I got to tell you, I, now I'm definitely going to have that layer on. If this happens, it's a huge black eye for everything. But you know what? It would make, where there is a hole or where there is a problem, there is a solution somewhere. And I know that, not me, but people in the crypto <laughs> crypto field are smart enough to figure out a way around that to transfer your your crypto some way into, or your fiat into crypto, and then just use DEXs. That would be a big a big question. So, if uh, if Celsius does claw it back, I will go out of my way. I will go out of my way. I'll make it a mission to make sure that everybody is reminded of what they did if they ever did a new company or what's going to happen. Hell, I'll stick around for another year just for that. I'm a nice guy in tell. Court would still be a huge risk, though, if it was all taken to court. If we lose, in good chance we would since we're against the SEC. That's not true. Then we'd really be screwed, so I think I should only... Here's the thing, Corey, you have to understand. The SEC doesn't win all the time. Did you know that Mark Cuban beat the pants off them in a lawsuit? Go look it up. Not only was it uh, a drubbing, it was a fast one. So the SEC accused Mark Cuban of insider trading. He's like, oh, really? Well, let's just go to court and see how that works out. And it worked out great for Mark Cuban. And the SEC goes away. They don't always lose. or they don't, People don't always lose against the SEC. That's what I'm saying. So if we all got together, I mean, let's, let's be honest. The exchanges do have a little bit of money, a little bit of power and sway. I think we should do just fine. And let's not forget that just because we're against the SEC doesn't mean that we don't have friends in high places. The Lummises, 
the Ted Cruz's, the Tom Emmerer's, the Hester Pierce's. I mean, these people are not just like average Jane and Joe's. I think we'd do just fine. I think, I think we would win, actually. Uh, we'll see. Uh, 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 SECG just finished what FTX is trying to do all year, destabilize crypto. It's a good point. A lot of people think that uh, Sam Bankman Free was a, was a stooge, a useful idiot, and uh, they may be right. <laughs> what if I robbed from Dan? I'm a very boring guest. I'm actually very boring. Uh, yes, George, the, the so called, you know what? Ben had a good point. The people that I, I wanted on my dinner party, which was Alex Mashinsky, I'd want him first just to sit him down and ask him, why did he lie right to my face and everybody else's face on my show? That'd be the first thing. Then the rest of the people would come in. I don't really care. And then you had uh, the two guys from Three Arrows Capital and uh, Sam Bakeman Freed and then Do Kwan. And then the waiter would be Gary Gensler. So Ben had a good point. He goes, isn't that amazing? He goes, if you would have said that a year ago, besides Gary Gensler, people are like, oh, those guys are really good up and standing citizens of crypto and people love them. I remember being at Guy's event. No, 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 sorry. This was... Uh, this was this was another 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 private event that that I attended, and uh, there were people. I was up on stage with a like uh, that martini guy and a couple different people, and somebody was talking about you know uh, we need we need people who will stand up for for Bitcoin and crypto, and we all said yeah we need more people like that. And then one guy stood up in the audience and goes you guys are like he pretty much was he started to yell and he said. But we already got that. And his name's Del Quan. What do you guys don't know what you're talking about? And I'm like, I don't think that guy's really that good. And then like, <laughs> like three months later, everything collapsed. So I don't think it was that, I don't think it was really that good for the for the uh, crypto market in general. Nah, you know. I would want to have dinner with the Illuminati, but that's just it. Anybody be Illuminati. You never know. They'd be like, I'm the Illuminati. You have no idea. 200 years of jail. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, maybe. I like the first clown too. Road trip buddy says, "Dude, it's a motivation YouTube speech." Yeah, and I, and someone said that also for the thing about like it doesn't matter if you lose your mom or your dog, whatever else. It's just mad that you're successful. If that's a motivational speech, it's the worst one I've ever had. I've lost both. I mean, there was a time when me and my wife split. And uh, my best friend just passed away. My, my dog of 14 years. I got to tell you, I'd give up everything I own to have to take that back. I mean, now me and my wife are back together after this was a while ago. But uh, like, I don't give a shit how much money you make. It, it doesn't make a difference uh, in the world or how successful you are. It doesn't matter. It, it, it just doesn't. It doesn't matter in the long run. That's how I see it. Uh, 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 ah, teeny Tesla. Hello. Mm. Tika Ben Rensburg. It's a good question. Hey, Rob, will the staking USA problem affect us that are staying with you? No, because I am just the face of DNU staking. I am uh, just a cog in the wheel. Uh, the people that's are responsible, not responsible, but we all have a certain amount in it. But uh, our staking is out of the Netherlands and Australia. So for us, it's uh, Cardano staking. So we don't have anything centralized here in America. Uh, we used uh, Kubernetes and we just space it all out globally. So for us, it's not a big thing. But if you listen to what, what Gensler said about the staking prospect and how that all works, it's, um, you have to understand, like, think about how Ethereum runs their staking, which I got to tell you is the worst, not the worst, but it's not the greatest. We'll just say that I've, when I heard about the staking, I was, I did a video on it and I was showing people how to do it. And halfway through, I just said, I'm not doing this. I'm just not going to lock up my Ethereum for that long. You can do it. But for me, I'm like, I don't get it. I don't, for me, it didn't make any sense. And then with Cardano, because like when you lock it up and you're moving your Ethereum, you're giving it essentially locking it up someplace else and you don't have access to it. But with Cardano, I mean, it never leaves your wallet ever. 
you have your private keys. You are in control of it. There are no lockup periods. There is no stake or there's no, there's no slashing. There's no, I mean, the, the worst thing that could happen is that you may not, you may miss if your designated uh, uh, stake pool operator isn't uh, doing their job. You may miss one epic for not giving uh, rewards, but you'll never have your rewards taken away. So for me, like personally, I think Cardano knocked it out of the park with staking. It is the cleanest, easiest way to do things and the most consistent. I don't, there's, and then of course everybody will say, well, well this, you know, for, well, this other project is great. I don't really, I mean, I stake, I've staked Avalanche, I've staked Cosmos, I've staked Near, I've staked Solana. And so far the easiest and best way I've seen is with Cardano. And that's why we just stuck with that stake pool and that's it. Let's see. <laughs> people who love money say that. Yeah, some people are so are so poor they only have money. That's what sucks. Coinbase card rewards be affected? I don't know. I think if if Coinbase card rewards would be affected, I think all credit cards would be affected in the future. Uh, yeah, Joseph's got a great question. Why do crypt, crypto people hate Coinbase? I used to. You know, I used to have my problems with Coinbase too. I used to be really, I would always talk about how I hated the fact that they would always go down in the most inopportune times, like during like big crashes so people couldn't sell or when things go up, uh, you know, miraculously and like these blow off tops and see like it would get so much action, it would just shut down. I'm like, why does one of the biggest crypto exchanges in, on, on the United States shut down? I mean, they should have this already figured out and I got... I was always giving them guff, but lately they've been doing pretty good. And I will say one thing about Brian Armstrong. I mean, he really believes in crypto and really wants to make things work from what I've seen. Maybe behind the scenes, he's plotting a huge takeover. I have no idea. But uh, people just hate Coinbase because they hate Coinbase. And they always talk about the fees and the fees and the fees. Look, man, these days, I'm just happy that Coinbase has not become insolvent and uh, collapsed. I got to tell you, it's just like the army. Just show up with the right uniform and get promoted. So in this situation, if Coinbase just keeps moving forward and doesn't collapse, win. I see them as onboarding many crypto investors. Yeah, me and Lou are in the same, the same uh, boat. I got to agree with you. Coinbase will be good. <laughs> it's wrong trolling. I'm not. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy, Ryan, right? Uh I know Mr. Wonderful does have kids. That's what's crazy. He's got a wife. Maybe he hates his wife. I don't know. Allegedly. I don't know. Yeah. D. Tom says, I'm in New York, so I basically need comments. Y'all can F off wishing to see his downfall. I don't wish his downfall. I want those guys to succeed as bad as anybody else does. Oh. <sighs> this question. Curious as to why you and Ben ditched James. We didn't ditch James. The thing was, like when my tribe gets together with Ben's tribe, we don't really have too many problems. Pretty much we're all aligned. But when my tribe and Ben's tribe and James's tribe gets together, it was toxic. And when we did these, these, uh, the DCA shows, it just wasn't a good mix after time, over time. And that wasn't my plan. My plan was to alleviate your stress. You're under enough stress as it is. When you go to the shows, I just want you just to enjoy it and relax. And when you see things on live stream and it's really negative, you're like, well, this isn't what I wanted. So I said, me and James and Ben talked and we go, you know what? Maybe our tribes just don't align. And now James has got a new tribe and they seem to do pretty well. So that's great. And then me and Ben picked up Guy and we're doing pretty just fine. So that's it. How's Puerto Rico? Man, in Puerto Rico is awesome. Uh, I like how in Puerto Rico, like stop signs and stop lights are suggestions. And not something that you actually have to do. That's fun. And uh, but besides that, the weather's perfect and people are great and the food is. Eh. But I mean, it's a great place to be. That's all. That's all I'll say. I do like it here. I'm probably keep living here for the rest of my life. Uh, is the staking ban official? Or just a rumor. So the staking ban for Kraken, that's official. That's gone through. Thirty million dollars later, they're not offering staking. They will not be moving forward unless. Gary Gensler comes out and says, here's the criteria. But as far as I know, that's it. Now with Coinbase and all the rest of them, seems like they can still do that. Binance US, sure. Uh, 
Ah, Red Cran. Red Cran. <laughs> Keep up the good work. With all your insights. Wish I could have found you in the last bull run. So I was talking to Meme about this this, this morning at the Dog Rock. And I think this is what I'm going to do. So I'm, I have a plan to sell my crypto. And people, if you're a Diamond Hands person, uh, you can do that. But um, I did a video. I did a video. And it was called and Why and When I'm Selling 80% of My Crypto. And I linked it in the description of every one of my videos at the very top in the description. And I want you to watch that video because once that those criteria happen, I'm going to sell 80% of my crypto. And once that happens, I think I'm going to step away from this channel. It's, it's a good idea to do that, to just make things final and then kind of move a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll say, once I sell, like this is, this is just a thought I'm having. It's just to go, okay, look, everybody, I sold. This is it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can ride this out. But I'm going to make things final right here. And I'm going to step away until the bear market comes. And I'll probably just take a break for like three months because there's a blow off top. And then who knows? Three months, six months, who knows? And then I'll come back. But I want to make it like a, like a final. So people are like, oh, Rob is serious. He really did these things. Maybe I should, you know, really think about that, do my research and see if this is a good time to do those things because it's always the same thing. It's always a four year cycle. And it seems like whenever we think like it's going to keep going up and up, it never does, obviously, right? So I want to give people something to think about. Instead of just sticking around going, eh, everything's going good and it's great. I don't know. We'll see if that's a good idea or a dumb idea. I'll hear about this in the comments. Uh, that comment is in Florida. <laughs> Gary just wants control. It's good, true. Uh, <laughs> it's a great point. If you lose your wife and dog and your mother hates you and you're happy, no one should ever trust you. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe your wife tried to kill you. And maybe your dog hates you. I don't know. I'm trying to play devil's advocate, but it's very tough. It's true. SEC is controlled by banks. Uh, and that's... Staking in Japan is great. Yeah. I probably... It's a good idea. T-shirt, not your dad. What? Is that true? From April 2023, India is basically going to fine and jail people who do transactions through peer-to-peer -peer on foreign exchanges. So now the only option left is domestic exchanges that prevent crypto withdrawals. So you can't, that's interesting. Is that going to be a law? Do they already put that in? If that's the case, as far as crypto withdrawals, nothing in cold storage. Hmm. Interesting. Jail. Wow. Hmm. Ryan says, are you DCing more into Bitcoin or ETH? Bitcoin. There's more of an upside potentially for Ethereum, but I'm trying to play it a little bit safer. <clears throat> oh, didn't know that. Hey, Rob, when you talk about walking the shell dogs, don't forget to mention it's scientifically proven to boost endorphins. Yeah, and you can also lose weight and you feel better. What are your thoughts on Lido staking? I wouldn't do it. It's just me. I don't like having things locked up. I don't know. Never had an issue with ADA. Daedalus is the best way to stake. That's what I use, but people sometimes don't like because it, it takes so long to download. I get it. Mafunga or Tostones, neither. I don't like either of them, but everybody seems to love it here. But that's just me because I'm not from here. But everybody loves it here. Ben had no mods. Ben, ben doesn't like to doesn't like to ban people. He's just like me. Like if you make, if you're, I think, a scam bot, then I'll ban you. But uh, I don't, even people would disagree with me. I don't ban them. And I've got plenty of those. Let's see. I think that's it, guys. Sell and sunset. Sell and may and go away. I'm going to put that to the test one of these days. 
That would have worked out pretty well, actually, for the last bull run. Uh, okay. And that's a good way to say it. Goodbye, Tesla. Goodbye, TNT. And goodbye, everybody. So look, that's it for today. Uh, I got to do some things. Got to get out of here and get some things done. But enjoy the big game. Watch that uh, Super Bowl commercial. It should be interesting. But that's it for today. If you like today's video, thumbs up before you leave. Please. It helps out a lot, apparently. Subscribe. You can subscribe, but it's not like YouTube's going to notify you all the time. But good luck. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.